Can you tell us how each of these contributes to hair loss, Dr. Barrett? Well, typically, uh, as we age, we're at higher risk for hair loss. Okay. Um, this could start genetically at an early age um, or even progress um, uh, further along into middle age. Um, certain um, health conditions, specifically thyroid or even anemia, um, uh, low iron levels, um, can create uh, hair loss or start the pattern, hair loss pattern. Uh, very rarely some medications, uh, some, some of the antidepressants, some of the uh, uh, psychiatric medications can cause hair loss. Stress, stress is overrated. Uh, stress uh, is, <laughs> uh, who doesn't have stress, Who right? doesn't but, have uh, stress? Now we'd be all bald. <laughs> stress is, uh, right. stress, uh, we tend to put a lot of emphasis on stress, and yes, stress does cause, but typically the, the type of uh, hair loss that stress causes is temporary. Okay. Um, typically the stress, um, uh, but it, it tends to be overrated, I'll okay. be honest with you. Um, and then of course, uh, you know, an important, a, a balanced diet or nutritious diet is obviously very important. And I think the most important thing up there, which we've already spoken about, is the family history. The family history, and obviously a low, a low protein diet, that's, that's seen as well, or? Yeah, uh, diet deficiencies, you know, okay. specifically you want to maintain a healthy, uh, balanced diet, but uh, protein really gives nutrients to the hair follicles themselves. All right, so in order to figure out an effective treatment, you have to determine the cause of the hair loss. So how do you categorize the different types of hair loss? Yeah, well, they fall into two general types of categories, um, what we refer to as um, scarring and non-scarring uh, alopecia. So okay. basically, um, the most common cause, um, like I alluded to, so 90% of hair loss is what's referred to as androgenic alopecia, which is the one we're all familiar with genetically. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are other types of hair loss patterns that we need to rule out. Those typically present with more focal hair loss, meaning patches or uh, certain specific areas of the scalp. Um, and those are related mostly to conditions of the skin themselves, of the scalp itself. Okay.